What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to Locked in Sports, bringing you my five best bets for today, Wednesday, March 20th, in the NBA. Uh, before we hop into today's picks, we got to go over yesterday. 4 and 0. Oh, it was a 4 0 day. We hit the sweep. Uh, we finally hit a sweep on the channel. Got a toast of that with the Rams mug. Um, it's the only thing I have around a round of toast with, but. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Uh, I can go over the quicks pick, quick picks quickly. Sorry about that. Uh, but they were all really, really sweat-free. We had uh, Victor Wimanyama for over five and a half first quarter points. He ended with six, but he got those six pretty fast, so it was really sweat-free. Nick Claxton, over 12 rebounds plus assists. Made us sweat a little coming out of the first quarter with six. Um and then just got two more for the rest of the game and really didn't didn't do anything. Yeah, he just didn't show up in the second half. Awesome for us. And then we had um, Amen Thompson for over 13.5 points and Vasile Micic for over 12.5 points. They both hit in the first half. Um, absolutely, absolutely sweat-free. Yeah, it was a great day. Uh, four locked-in sweat-free bets, and we swept... I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah. And for the cutting room floor picks in that video, those went uh, two for three. So really awesome there too. Uh, yeah. No complaining about yesterday at all. Awesome day. Let's do it again today. Let's make this a 9-0 and run. I can see it happening. So let's hop into these picks. All right. First pick coming at you guys is from the Cavs versus Heat game. And it is George Niang for over 10 and a half points. Why Niang? Uh, because he averages 12 points against the Heat, um, which is just above this line. But he's doing that on 20 minutes. He's been averaging about 26 over his last 10. Uh, and I will be real, he's averaging about 11.1 points over his last 10 games. So just above this line, but above the line. Uh, but I think the fact that he does so well against Heat and he's playing uh, an extra six minutes more than he previously did against the Heat just points to him really having a great matchup here, um, having a really good opportunity to beat this line. He's also been over it in four out of his last five games. Yeah, uh, I love these kind of picks where just no matter how you slice it, whether you're looking at their last 10, their last five, um, or the matchup they have, they're going over it. No matter how you look at it, this is one of those picks. Lock it in. Uh, George Niang for over 10 and a half points. Next up, I got a pick coming at you guys from the Pistons game, and it's Jalen Duran for over a double-double. Uh, I know this isn't a great value pick, but it's 100%. Like, it is so, so, so for sure going to hit uh, that I couldn't pass it up. I know it's not great value. Uh, the value you're getting for it depends on the sports book that you are using. Uh, but I know it's it's not, you know, what we normally bet on. But it's going to hit. It's going to hit because I, I was looking at his normal points and rebounds lines. And he's so consistently hitting like right at those lines. That I didn't want to go over. Uh, but I believe he's his lines are about 13 rebounds and 14, 14 and a half points. He's been hitting that so consistently every time against the Pacers. His averages are at that. He's averaging a double double. Yeah, he, he's just he's always hitting double doubles, especially in a fast paced game against the Pacers. I don't see a world where Jalen Duran doesn't hit double double. So even though this isn't a great value pick, it is free money at the end of the day because he's getting a double double. That's all there is to it. Taking Jalen Duran for a double double. All right, now for my third pick here. Coming from the OKC Thunder, this is admittedly one of my favorite players in the league. Uh, it's Chet Holmgren for over three and a half first quarter points. Um, this is a blowout game where it's a potential blowout, which is why I'm looking at first quarter points for Chet. Because uh, I did like his points line, but oh, it's scary. Yeah, we try to avoid him as best we can. Uh, but his first quarter points line is awesome. Uh, he's averaged four points over his last 10 games. Uh, that's just two buckets. That's two lobs from Shea for him, and he hits this line. Uh, but specifically against Utah, 
he averages 6.3. And with John Collins questionable, Laurie Markkinen out, there's no one to stop Chet. If John Collins does play, I think that this is a fair line that Chet hits. If John Collins doesn't play, this is a terribly unfair line that Chet just destroys because there's going to be no one there to guard. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I'm taking Chet Holmgren easily for over three and a half first quarter points. Next pick here is coming from the Golden State Warriors. Um, it's a player we took before. He didn't hit for us before, but... Here at Locked In Sports, I really like to trust the data more than I trust my own personal feelings and what players have wronged me in the past. Except for Mikael Bridges, we don't bet on Mikael Bridges. That's just a matter of principle. Uh, but I know Kaminga didn't hit it for us before, but his line today is really, really good. I'm taking his over 18 and a half points. Why? Because he's been averaging 20.8 points over his last 10. And he averages 24.5 against Memphis. I know it's a potential blowout game. But he does so well against Memphis that this line is really hard to pass up. His line is so low for the day. Kaminga has been on a really good hot streak. Uh, He's had 22 plus points in four out of his last five. Yeah, this is one of those picks. I think no matter how you slice it, it's a really good looking pick. If you want to take his first quarter points, I like that as well. I couldn't find his first quarter line, so I'm presenting his full game line here. But if you want to take his first quarter points, I don't hate that at all. Go for it. But personally, I'm just taking Jonathan Kaminga for over 18 and a half points. All right, now for my fifth and final locked in pick of the day. It is Anthony Simons of the Portland Trailblazers for over 23 and a half points. Why? Uh, because he averages 28 against the Clippers. Yeah. Yeah. And he's been averaging 27.4 over his last 10. He's hit this line in his last three games. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those situations where no matter how you slice the pick, I think he's going over. I will concede. Uh, there's blowout potential here. But Anthony Simons doesn't do great in the first quarter against the Clippers. He does about where his line sitting at, at about four points. Um, I believe it was about four points. But for the whole game, he blows past this line. Uh, he's been playing really good minutes against the Clippers, even though it is a potential blowout game. Um, he's still getting his full minutes in his games against them. And I just really feel like, despite the point spread on the game, Anthony Simons is in a really good place to hit this line uh, because he's done it before, and I think he does it again. Simple as that. So I'm taking Anthony Simons for over 23 and a half points. All right, those were my five best bets and player props for today, Wednesday, March 20th, in the NBA. Uh, before the video ends, as you guys know, um, if you watch these videos a lot, or if you're new here, I'll make this little speech for you. Uh, At the end of every video, I like to hand out what I call my cutting room floor picks. I dig up a lot of picks uh, when I do my research for these videos. I do a lot of research for them. And I don't hand all of them out in the main section of the video. Uh, I don't fully endorse all of them. But I have all these picks that I think are going to hit. I like them. um, And I don't just want to leave them on the cutting room floor because they're good picks. And if you guys need something to add to a parlay or you were thinking about the pick anyway or you just like the player, then yeah, I'm going to hand him out to y'all here. So I'm going to rattle him off real quick, real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, I have Jimmy Butler for under 22 and a half points. He only averages 13 against Cleveland and he's been averaging 21.3 over his last 10. Um, he was out for two games, but before that he only hit this line in one of his last five and that was with 23. So barely over. Uh, Cade Cunningham for over 21 and a half points. He averages 28 against Indy, but he's only been averaging 20.8 recently. So really good matchup. Hasn't been hitting it in his last 10. And I, I feel like Cade Cunningham can be a kind of volatile player. So just staying away from that pick for now. I have Dame Lillard for over 21 and a half points. He averages 24 against Boston. Uh, he's been averaging 23.8 recently, and he's over this in three of his last five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 
It's, it's a it's a really good bet. Uh, Gary Trent for over 19 and a half points. Now he's only been averaging 19 over his last 10, but Emmanuel quickly is out. With quickly out, Gary Trent should be seeing a lot more action. That's why I like this pick. Uh, but there's also the chance that Grady Dick steps up, and he has an amazing game. His lines weren't out yet uh, as I'm recording this, so I wasn't able to get a good look at him. Uh, but it was just a position where I think he's going to have a great game, but yet to see. Um, we'll see how he's looking. Um, you know, if Emmanuel quickly is out for a few more games, so maybe we look at Gary Trent again if he's taking that increased workload, if he's making the most of his increased usage. But we got to wait to see for that. I have uh, Keontae George for over 19 and a half points. He's been averaging 19.7 over his last 10, um, and he's been averaging 16.3 against the Thunder, but that's on 24 minutes, and he averages about 31 now. Uh, and I know this is a potential blowout game, but he's been playing 30-plus minutes in blowouts. So even in blowout games, he's still getting his minutes. He's still getting uh, far more minutes than he did before. And with uh, Lori Markkinen out and Jordan Clarkson out and Collins questionable, Keontae George could be seeing increased usage. He could be seeing a lot more shot opportunities. Uh, this is just a case where there's just a lot of factors going into this pick, and they look like they're good for Keontae George, but also the Jazz could be a hot mess, and yeah, there's just a lot going into this pick. I have Desmond Bain for over 23.5 points. He averages 23 over his last two games since being back. He's had a 22 game and a 24 game. He's trending upwards. Um, yeah, I don't think the Warriors could lock him down. Uh, I think he's, I think he's going to get around Draymond. I think he's going to create separation and score really well in this game. Uh, just not enough data there to fully back it up because he's just getting back. Uh, speaking of Draymond, I have him for over seven and a half rebounds. He averages nine and a half against Memphis. He's been averaging eight point two over his last ten. Yep, that's all there is to it. I have Kevin Durant for over seven rebounds. Uh, he averages eight against Philly, and he's been averaging about six point nine over his last ten. So right, right about this line. Uh, we've been over it in four of his last five. So, good spot to back Kevin Durant for rebounds. And I have Bradley Beal for over three and a half first quarter points. It's Bradley Beal. Uh, he's averaging 3.8 first quarter points over his last 10. Um, so, just above this line, but it's Bradley Beal. He's been on a hot streak. Uh, he's just been doing really good for us. I like betting on Bradley Beal now. That's, yeah. Uh, and lastly, I have Kawhi Leonard for over 34 and a half PRA. Uh, this is the Clippers Trailblazers game, which you would think would be a blowout, and the Lions have it at a pretty severe blowout. But he, uh, but sorry, Kawhi averages twenty eight and a half, five point five, and five point five against Portland. So he plays insanely well against Portland, even though it's supposed to be a blowout. So just some weirdness there with um, whether or not Kawhi will keep that really insane efficiency. In a blowout game, but yeah. So those are my cutting room floor picks. I hope you guys like some of them, use some of them, make some money with them. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Um, as always, the support on these videos has been insane and really much appreciated. Um, yeah, YouTube is not showing me the same support and is really just not... Uh, not recommending my videos as much as it previously was, which sucks. But I trust you guys to like, to comment, to subscribe, to share the pics with your friends. And yeah, that's all I got for you today. As always, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I really appreciate it. And it means a lot to me. But yeah, have a good one and let's make some money.